Hello all, this is DSwank. I am back in Space Engineers. And again, I this mysterious project that I have been working on in Space Engineers, um, I'm doing a... Well, it's going to be a, uh, something that's going to be interesting for y'all, but I have been looking at workshop ships for this. Um, and I stumble across some really nice stuff that... It appears nobody's looking at. Uh, this one right here. This is very nice looking. It has two scripts and one mod on it. The one mod is uh, Oki Weapons Pack Seth's Rebalance. And it's also kind of interesting because this, that mod, the Oki's Weapon Pack, was created by Okim, the original release who, I assume, since it's the same name, is the designer of this ship, which is kind of epic. Now, my first thought when I looked at the outside, I, I don't do any, I do most of these off of the cuff, so I haven't looked inside it yet, and I've only done a cursory look outside. Um, but it reminds me of an Asgard ship from Stargate. But it looks cool got hyperspace stuff back here, slightly different color. Uh, I do like the way the engines are back here, the hydrogen engines. Ooh, we have a docking bay. We have some lights. Uh, we have some thrusters on the back. Over here. I like the gyros being out in the open, too. Makes it really kind of stand out. Um, also looks different from pretty much anything I have designed. I really do like the uh, gyros out in the open and the thruster using vanilla thrusters and things. Makes sense. Um, got lights in the front. I mean, it, it looks like a there's a lot of Stargate influence in this. Because just right up here, I suddenly had this uh, Prometheus feel. I mean, people design things be however they want. They're based on personality. And your personality, who you are, is basically the sum of your memories. So if you watch um, a lot of science fiction, it's of course going to affect your ship design. So, let's go in, and I, God, there's, I play too many survival games. I need to map them all to use the same keys. Okay, so we've got kind of this secondary control area. Gatling turrets, remote control, okay. Air vents. So yeah, we've got a lot of control stuff interface here. No maintenance exit. Maintenance exit, no to outside. Oh, cool. Okay, I like that. What's back here? Um, hydrogen tanks. I do like the fact that the... Um, oh, that's glass. I did not realize that. I should have, since I mean, it's got a reflection to it. That's nice. It's. Does it have the dirt? Yeah, it's dirty. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. Uh, Gatling turret, remote control, uh, yeah. So, there's that. Well, what's through here? Reactor room, nice. I like that reactor room. Looks, looks pretty. I got the stuff down there. Uh, okay, it's reactor on the same side. I bet it's mirrored over here. Yep. Maintenance exit. Oh, that's cool. This is the um, 3D stuff. Uh, three, that's one of the scripts. The, basically, we see both of the scripts being used here. So, that's kind of nifty. Alright, close that. We've got a tunnel that way, but we're back here. Uh, okay. Ah, what does this give me? 
Okay, so this is like the control room for the hangar. And we've got strike craft in here that appear to be docked via rotor, which is kind of cool. And those are nice little stub, sub fighter, stub fighters, so we'll we'll take a look at those now, I guess. I was going to say in a bit, but we're already here. Okay. The small stuff is there. Okay, you dock right there. Nice. Wait, does this have two dock points? Do they both have two? They all have two dock points. That's nice. I guess they could remote control them. That'd be nifty. I like. I like that a lot. Can we get in? No. Okay. So, let's go back inside. I like those fighters. Those are cool looking. Let's close that. Go through here. Life support. Oh. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I may have to start using that concept. Because... A lot of times you have to feed uranium directly into the reactor before they work. And that usually is kind of ugly, but this I like. Alright, what's over here? Cargo. Those must be assemblers? Yeah. That's nice and nifty. Uh, what's through here? I do like the light placement. More assemblers. No, those aren't assemblers. Are they? Those are those are oxygen generators, aren't they? Okay. Close. through life support. Okay, we've got air vents, control, we've got computers tucked in, we've got a computer control seat, there's a timer block, oxygen tanks, that's nice, oxygen generator. Yeah, I think those must have been assemblers over there, but, um, not sure. So, through that, I guess this is just a long necked ship. So, we got Med Bay, and oh, I like the way the windows are done here. Um, the only part of me that's torn is the fact that. Oh, wait, is that a double layered window? I can't tell. And I need to turn my interface back off. I just wasn't even paying attention. So we've got four cryopods, a med bay, and a couple of seats, and then the bridge. So this is not a very roleplay-esque ship, because there's no uh, sleeping quarters. But um, it's got everything you need for space engineers, which is nice. And you've got the bridge. Okay, so this must be the captain's seat. You've got an engineer's seat. You've got an extra seat. I like the bridge. Ooh, that that adds a nice little flair to it. Okay, the green. Where? Okay, oh, that is a painful cut. Those are painfully colored lights for my eyes. Uh, Gatling, ammo, speed, dampeners, da, da, da. GPS coordinates, battery, outputs, total output, ingots, summary. You know, the only, th only thing I think that would be somewhat advantageous to put somewhere on the on the ship on the ship somewhere oh that's an airlock out that's nice would on the bridge since most of your fighting crew is going to be here 
um, or your operations crew would be to have like a, a status report or health report of the ship somewhere. Maybe not directly on the bridge, but if you're in combat, the engineer needs to be able to uh, know where he needs to go. And maybe here? I don't know if you could. I don't know if that the catwalk is taking up this block or the block above. I can't really tell. I think it's taking up this block. So, uh, but hiding a LCD somewhere might not have been a bad idea. But, uh, that other than that one room that uses it. But, I mean, I like the ship. I like this corridor. I like this corridor, this specific part of it. It feels the right type of claustrophobic for a ship. Like that. This is a little... Uh, I feel like something could have been done here, but I don't know what. Um, and I there's a lot in the back, but for, for Strange, I don't know. Um, the ship feels more open in the back half than the front half. The front half feels a lot more claustrophobic. And this area back here feels a lot more... Like there's a lot more here. And I don't know... I... I feel like something needed to be done to kind of... Either open the nose of it up a little so it's not as claustrophobic, or make this area feel more claustrophobic. Um, more tight. But when when that's my only real com complaint about the ship is that it it doesn't feel claustrophobic enough in the back half. And that I think that there should have been another LCD screen somewhere with this on it. Um, that's, that's kind of nitpicky, honestly. So, this is, I like this ship. It's a very nice ship. It's a very fun looking ship. Um, interior wise, nice. Um, we do have guns on the lower half which was one of the concerns I was just looking for. Um, we have guns here. Got the struts. Antennas down here. Obviously not intended to land anywhere. Ah, there's the refineries. I like that. So... Ultimately, I really do like this ship. It's real nice. I'm sure it... I mean, I'm seeing thrusters in all directions, so I know it works. Also, anybody who is a modder that can put together stuff like what uh, Oakham has done with the the original release of these, mod, these weapons, I'm willing to bet that they're a competent enough builder to not forget the basics like vertical thrusters and my voice just my th I've been fighting get it being sick for the past week so I'm sorry that my voice is doing weird things while I'm recording um, but yeah I, I love this ship I really do it's got enough of its own to make it stand out and be different, but it's also it's got hints enough hints of other in it that I can see where or at least I believe it does. I, I don't know because I'm not the designer. I can't say well, technically it's not Stargate. It's um, some like Battle Beyond the Stars or something something strange like that. So 
I don't know. I can't say for Stargate for sure, but yeah. I also really do like what the half blocks have given us. The shapes that we now are able to do with the half blocks. They really... They've added so much to designing. So, uh, with that, I think I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll have a link to the workshop page for this in the description below. Uh, go ahead, download it, give it a go, uh, leave a comment, tell Oki how much you, or Oakum, how much you like the ship. Leave a comment, tell me how much you like the ship, how much you like these spotlights, and I will see you next time. Until then, buh bye bye